This video is sponsored by InVideo. Is everyone all right? Yeah, but oh, it hurts so much. Looks like we got pretty banged up. I don't like the sound of that. Anything broken? Not broken, but we're covered in bruises. And I think we sprained one of our ankles. Ugh. That's pretty bad. Are we going to be okay? I think so. I can wrap up our ankle later. But I'll try to stand up to see how bad it really is. Ah! Everybody's dead! Everybody's dead! Oh god, we're the only ones left! What? That can't be. Are you sure? Yeah, Brain, let's take another look just to be sure. I'm telling you, there's no what. Oh, I guess you guys were right. Oh, and everyone's helping each other out. That's the ray of hope we need in such a dire circumstance. I don't understand, though. How did our plane crash in the first place? Does it even matter right now? Well, it was probably a combination of adverse weather conditions and an inexperienced co-pilot. Yeah, I did notice that it was unusually cloudy when we took a look outside. It was as thick as pea soup out there. Right, the pilots most likely were using only their instruments to tell where they were going, since they could barely see anything outside. And that's when things started to go wrong? Uh-huh, it was already too late when they realized they made an error in reading their instruments. Then, well, you know the rest. I wonder if the doctor's worried. Ah, <sighs> nothing like fun in the sun. Well, we can't worry about him right now. We have to help out the others and make a proper shelter for us all. Nightfall's coming, and it's going to be really bad. Why? You know, I think we should upload a video about it. Seriously, now? Actually, I'm on track. Doctor, we don't have time for that. Don't worry, Heart. I'm using InVideo AI. Isn't it the world's most used AI video creator? With over 10 million users across 150 plus countries? Yeah. It's the only AI video creator out of the 20 plus tools that I have tried that puts you in the driver's seat and works as your personal sidekick. Just type in what you need and InVideo AI I does the heavy lifting, like ChatGPT for videos. For example, I'm going to create a video about the more extravagant ways of dying. I'm kinda scared. And then I only choose the audience, the look and feel, and the platform on which I'm planning to upload the video. This looks awesome! But what if I don't entirely like the first variation it generates? It's super easy. I can use the edit command box and give text-based commands to make edits to the video. Such as adding subtitles to the video? Yeah, or change the intro and start with a joke. Then I render and done. Amazing. But what if you want to use your own voice? I can also do that. It's as simple as uploading a sample of my voice and writing in the prompt that I want to use it in my videos. Sounds expensive. Actually, it's just $20 a month. That removes the watermark and gives you access to tons of royalty-free stock footage. Many see AI as a threat, fearing human replacement. But tools like InVideo AI let you level up your skills and bring previously out-of-reach projects to life and you just click the link in the description and use my code to get twice the number of video generation credits in your first month guys focus we are in trouble here it's about negative 30 degrees celsius on this mountain right now if we stay overnight without shelter we'll get hypothermia that's when the body's temperature drops dangerously low right yep the body's normal temperature is about 37 degrees celsius so, if it drops below 35 degrees Celsius, it becomes a medical emergency. At that point, I could stop beating, and we would all die! Ah! Then what are we waiting for? That shelter's not gonna build itself! That first night was rough! Now I'm really hungry! What do we have to eat? Sorry, Stomach, there wasn't a lot of food recovered from the wreckage so we'll have to carefully ration out what little we have. Oh no! Fasting again?! Don't worry, Stomach. We'll get rescued real soon. Right, Brain? Yeah, our flight should have arrived in Chile yesterday, so there should be rescue planes searching for us right now. We're probably going to be chilling at the beach with the doctor by this afternoon. What? Why are we still here? Just to suffer?! Are those planes really looking? It's probably because our white plane is stuck in the middle of a huge area of snow. 
All the rescuers see is a big white nothing. Brain, I'm super hungry. Can we have a bit more to eat today? Sorry, Stomach, but our food reserves are actually almost empty. We don't have any more to go around. What? But what'll we do now? Well, some of the other survivors have actually already resorted to cannibalism. Ew! Isn't that where you ate other people? Are we really going there? Isn't this a kid's show? Nah, it's more of a medical show, really, so this still fits. They're not going to eat us like those movie monsters, are they? No, they're just cutting up some of the dead bodies. They're not eating anyone still alive. But that's still super disgusting. Doesn't cannibalism have terrible side effects? Eating human meat is actually no different than consuming animal meat, if properly cooked. It's actually when consumed raw that we start seeing real problems. Because eating it raw is even more disgusting? Well, yes, but also because cooking kills germs. Eating raw meat of any kind, not just human, is a surefire way of spreading disease. Ugh, I can't believe we're discussing this topic in depth. It's so abhorrent eating someone you know. I'm with you. We do not condone cannibalism at all. An update on the rescue of Flight 571. What's that? Oh, oh, someone managed to get a radio working. Oh boy, oh boy, we're gonna be rescued today. We're gonna be rescued today. You'll see, buddies. After eight days of searching, the rescue operation has been called off. It will resume in December once much of the snow melts. What? what? We're not getting rescued? December? What month is it now? October. So December's like one, two, a lot of days away. What do we do, Brain? Well, that means we might be stuck here a lot longer than we thought. But how do we survive without any food? This means we'll have to... Don't say it! Resort to cannibalism. Do we have oh, no. to? Oh, so gross! Sorry, buddies, but we have to do this to survive. As long as we don't eat any brains, we should be fine. Why the brains specifically? Because of Kuru. Hey, who are you calling Cuckoo? No, Kuru is a fatal and transmissible brain disorder. It is only known to spread in cannibalistic communities because they eat the brains of others. So as long as we don't eat any brain parts, we shouldn't catch it. Not sure if that makes this whole situation better. The good news is that the meat was already cut up by some of the other survivors. <laughs> I guess. We at least didn't see who, uh, where it came from. Let's just do this quick and imagine it's actually delicious food. Like a pizza. Ooh, or maybe a big juicy burger. Oh no! I can't believe we just did that. So gross! I regret it! Mm -mm. That was so good. Are you being serious, Stomach? Hey, don't judge. We're in an extreme situation here and need to survive. I guess. Besides, that imagination trick really worked. It felt like I was chowing down on a real juicy burger. Now, how about seconds? Stop. Ugh. Just stop. You know, being here isn't all that bad. We've got food, shelter, blankets. What more could you want? I mean, I would really prefer not eating the former passengers anymore, but otherwise you're right. The past two weeks weren't that bad considering our circumstances. Yeah, it could definitely be worse. Gee, stomach, are you really that hungry right now? Uh, that's not me. Oh boy! A picnic! I haven't had any decent food in two weeks! Uh, no! The picnic! Uh, what are you talking about, Brain? A picnic? Oh boy, oh boy, where? Why did you pull me back here? I was in heaven! There were angels, laughter, and sunshine. And best of all, 
food! Real food! Scrumptious dishes that weren't made out of people! I wish I could have been there! Brain, we were buried in an avalanche! Huh? Is that what happened? Yep, and these nice people pulled us from under the snow! Good thing, too! We nearly died of asphyxiation! Uh, so what? It's when we don't receive enough oxygen in the body! Yeah, all oh, that snow was so densely packed around us that we couldn't move a muscle or even breathe well. Huh? Is that what happened? About 15 minutes, maybe? Which is good, because if you're rescued within 15 minutes of being buried, chances of survival are 92%. And it becomes only 37% after 35 minutes of being buried. So that's why I saw heaven? because I was hallucinating right before we completely ran out of oxygen? There have been reports of people experiencing hallucinations when close to death, yes. I wish they didn't pull us out. You don't mean that, Brain. Don't I? Look around, Hart, it's miserable here. And we're not getting rescued. There's still hope. No, no there isn't. Don't you understand? We're stuck here. We're stuck in the cold eating people that were alive only a week ago. Brain? Leave me alone. Brain? Yeah, what is it, Hart? I know we haven't spoken much since the avalanche, but I have to tell you this. It's important. What is? Some of the survivors are planning to climb over the mountain and get help. Isn't that great? They're fools. What? I already told you before, Hart, there's no hope. We're all just going to die here of starvation and disease soon. They're not fools, they're heroes. And we shouldn't just sit around here doing nothing. Our human can help. Oh yeah? And what'll they do about shelter, huh? One night away from this place and they'll just freeze to death. They made a large insulated sleeping bag they can rest in during the nights. It can fit several people. We're still not going. We're staying here and that's final. You're the fool, Brain. You'd rather just sit here and die than do something to help ourselves and everybody else? Before you do some crazy life-threatening Mr. Beast challenge for some silly prize or internet fame. But when it really counts, you don't have what it takes. Uh, how does the timeline work here? This is 1972, right? So Mr. Beast shouldn't even be born. Shut up, Liver. Hart, you're right. Huh? I'm going to make it right. We're going to get ourselves out of this wreck, climb over this stupid mountain, and we're not going to stop until we get some help. Way to go, Brain. Man, how long have we been hiking? I think about three days. That hypoxia is really setting in. Hypoxia, who's it? Hypoxia means low oxygen conditions, Heart. Oh! In our case, it's specifically atmospheric hypoxia. We're so high up on this mountain that there's not a lot of oxygen to go around. And that makes this climb even more brutal. Come on, buddies. We can't give up now. But we'll die here. Yeah, Brain. We'll keel over long before we reach any help. I can feel it. <laughs> if we die, we die. But better while trying to save everyone than just sitting in that airplane wreck all day. That's the spirit, Brain. Don't give up, buddies. Help is just a bit more that way. Grass, and a river. And look, another human. We're saved. I gotta hand it to you, heart, brain. That 10 day trek up to this point was physically impossible, but we made it all the way just because of sheer willpower. Heart deserves all the credit. If it wasn't for him, we'd still be rotting in the plane wreckage. Aw, thanks, Brain. The human body is truly remarkable. Our human being relatively young and fit also played a factor for sure. If he was much older and had more injuries or health conditions, we definitely wouldn't have made it this far. Now we can actually get more food. I'm starving. Yeah, some steak, pasta, cake. Ooh, or another bite of human hamstring. Yum, yum. We're not cannibals. Yeah, stomach, we don't need to eat like that anymore. Let's go get some real grub, buddy. Oh, right. We're not cannibals. Seriously, where could they be? They're really, really, really late. 